would love to have the chance to grasp every member of Congress by the throat <laughs> and say, consider this. We are going to cut spending. There are some people who apparently still doubt that. Read the, read the reactions by Democrats in the paper this morning and last week to the Republican announcement that they're going to cut the vast sum of $34 billion, which is this is like a footnote in what's going to come over the next five years. Uh, so if we're going to cut money, then the question is, how are we going to decide what to cut? This is what really bothers me. I've been in Congress. I was a staffer with the Ways and Means Committee for 15 years. I was worked in the Senate for one year. And so many decisions are made on a basis that it has a lot more to do with politics and who the chairman is and who the president is and what their priorities are than any kind of logic. Um, we should obviously cut the programs that have the least productivity. And some of them even do damage, like the agriculture program. It's, 23 or 24 billion dollars right off the bat that we could get. This is what they're all, you know, miserable about, about the cuts in appropriations. There's 23 billion in money that a lot of economists say actually does more damage than it does good. But certainly no one argues that it does a, a, a lot of good. So that's what we ought to do. Now, if we do that, I think that Russ's programs are going to be relatively safe, especially if we think through this in the sense of what they could do. Not so much what they do right now, but we need education programs. We've got to improve them. The Obama administration and the Bush administration, I think, have been the two best administrations for trying to improve the quality of education and the quality of evidence that we have to evaluate whether it works. Programs like preschool programs especially, I think, have among probably, in my view, the strongest track record, even though Head Start's not getting the job done. So my answer is we are going to cut. We should cut, we have to cut for the sake of our kids and grandkids, and we gotta cut a lot. We also need increased revenues. That's definitely, we need to increase revenues, but we're gonna have to cut. But we need to do it on a reasonable basis, and to the extent possible, we should begin by cutting the programs that are least productive and protect the programs that are the most productive.